ClearPath Operational Mode 10, Pulse Burst Positioning. Pulse Burst Positioning is the mode to use when you need to command a very large number or continuously variable number of different positions, and you don't want the expense of a step and direction indexer. Let's connect ClearPath to the MSP software and take a look at how to set things up. Pulse Burst Positioning Mode uses a step input and a direction input, like a regular step and direction servo or stepper drive, but there's an important difference. In a traditional step and direction system, where the spacing of the step pulses directly relates to the commanded speed and acceleration, the pulse frequency has to be precisely ramped up and down, and the spacing between pulses has to be very accurate and this precision has to be maintained for all move lengths, speeds, and accelerations in order to have quality motion. This level of finesse means you need a relatively expensive motion control indexer to make the step pulse train. With pulse burst positioning mode, the step input can be driven by a digital output from a low-cost counter timer board because ClearPath can automatically create a profiled motion trajectory from a fixed frequency burst of pulses, even if there's jitter in the frequency of the pulses. For demonstration purposes, I'll use a rotary switch to select the direction of motion and a function generator to create the pulse bursts. To use this mode, you configure clear path with your desired motion parameters. Speed limits, acceleration rate, and RAS. RAS is a feature that automatically controls the acceleration rate, technically the jerk and jerk derivative so that all changes in speed are made very smoothly to minimize noise and vibration. To make a move, you simply send a burst of pulses to the step input, input B. Your move length will be proportional to the number of pulses you send. I'll set the function generator to output a 30 kHz pulse burst every 500 milliseconds with 1000 pulse cycles per burst. For this mechanical system, 1,000 pulses creates a move of 13 centimeters. At 30 kilohertz, 1,000 pulses takes about 34 milliseconds, but the actual move time depends on our velocity and acceleration settings. Even though there is no ramping up or down of the step pulse frequency, you can see by using the scope function in the MSP software that the motion profile has nice smooth transitions. While we have the scope open, let's take a look at how much motor torque we're using. That way we'll know how hard we're pushing the motor. This feature can be used in any clear path operational mode. The scope is currently scaled so that the top of the display represents 100% torque. You can see we're only using a small percentage of this motor's torque. We can still accelerate a lot harder. That's closer to this motor's full capability. The pulse bursts can be sent at a wide range of frequencies, and ClearPath will translate them on the fly into the same smooth motion profile. I can put in a much higher pulse frequency, and the moves are still the same as before. Because the pulse frequency and jitter has no effect on the profile, you can use low-cost electronics or even software to control the pulse output. You only need to stay below ClearPath's maximum input frequency of 500 kHz and above a frequency corresponding to your specified speed limits. If you don't have a counter timer to provide pulse bursts for your positioning application, take a look at the Move Incremental Distance mode, which can use a simple digital output. If you have a step and direction indexer and need the extra flexibility it gives you, check out the ClearPath SD models with their built-in high-speed step and direction interface.